guys girls ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is liquid hotshot in today's episode of our fifa 21 watford road to glory we're going to be playing two games two league games first one is away from home against luton town and the second one is going to be against reading at vicarage road i hope you guys enjoy today's episode if you do drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the link in the description for twitch I'm live there monday through thursdays and i'll see you in the match take care well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension packed occasion stay with us we'll have all the action for you live right here on ea tv Welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Luton Town. Welcome, guys. Um, my audio is quite loud. Uh, I don't know why that is. I'm going to have a look. It's on one. It's literally on one, dude. What do you mean? Um, drop those down a bit. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. My name is Liquid Hotshot, of course. Today's episode, like I've already said, we're going to be playing Luton Town and Reading in this one. Uh, some points that we need to pick up here. Uh, we dropped um, two points last episode in the league match and then we lost against Ipswich in the cup which is a bad start to the season after winning the very first league match but if we can come away with something here away from home against Luton that would be preferable uh, rather than losing more points and going on that sort of thing if we wanted to win the league we can't really be losing matches we can draw the odd game here and there but other than that we can't be doing that can't be losing too many games cleverly's gonna get there uh find murray found hughes etienne capu tadini nice save by the keeper unfortunately dini put it straight at the keeper wasted opportunity here would have been a decent chance but offside the verdict I'm gonna turn the commentators off. I do apologize, guys, that this is eating into your eating into your video, but I'm just gonna turn them off. I am not bothered. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are okay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm very excited for like FIFA 21 as a whole, and yeah, I'm, the reason I'm recording this this a couple of days after. Uh, I did the first couple FIFA 21 episodes is basically <clears throat> because my Xbox 360 pad was absolutely bust so I had to order a new one before I could basically continue with the series because I was I was just refusing to play with mouse and keyboard I actually don't think anyone on this planet plays with keyboard and mouse on on FIFA um, I'm pretty sure someone will have access to uh, you know a pa you know a gamepad whether that be playstation or xbox at you know at some point uh, but yeah if we can get a couple points here against luton that would be very nice as we concede straight away 24 minutes in um i don't know who scored that halton walton What's your name, pal? Danny Hilton. Okay, number nine. So that's striker. Already going, already going down. One nil. It's not the best. Already conceded. We need to get on the gas here. We're currently playing the sharpest team, uh, match-wise. Obviously, I'm yet to find out whether there's any game-breaking bugs to do with, you know, um, whether or not players are sh you know if they're really sharp does it have an insane effect on attributes likewise with morale and you, does fitness take a massive role or is it kind of laid back um we'll, we'll learn that together so we're playing with at the moment the most sharp team here at watford players who have already played this season so they're feeling decent the morale's high 
somewhat. There's a couple of players on the bench that wanted some game time. Um, it, but in fairness, they're like on par to what we've already got in the positions. So, you, you know, being a, a decent manager, you know, just saying, I'll think about it, that, that sort of thing. Um, just to keep him sweet, I've, you know, I put him on the, put him on the bench. I might bring him on later on in the game. You never know. Um, it's just, it's just one of those, really. Just one of those. But yeah, feel free if you guys are liking the Watford Road to Glory, then please do drop a like. It helps me out greatly. It helps show the content to other uh, people who like FIFA on here on YouTube. Um, you know as well as as well as helps just grow the channel and and show how good you guys are at community building um and yeah i'm, I'm enjoying this game so far i've played about 30 games now um i did quite a few games this week squad battles and i don't oh, i've just fucked up that attack played about 15 odd games in squad battles i played 10 odd in um my player career which is for twitch and personal and then i played a couple games against uh one of my buddies um today um obviously he'd set up he, he just copped the game uh and obviously i just got my controller today and then i've played a couple on regular divisions so like your regular i'm playing with the club uh, there's 10 divisions your old school sort of league system that used to be in fifa in ultimate team a couple years back um as we went into the first half murray's <laughs> had a little bit of space thought i'd drill it uh, i didn't think i'd be able to get any further um towards the goal so I thought I'd take one from long range. And in fairness, it wasn't too far off. Off the mark, Etienne Capu winning the ball there quite nicely. Troy Deeney uh, finds Murray. I'm trying to... I want people to run. And they're just... They're just not seeming to do that. Um, Hughes has got a ton of space, please. Oh... Makes a decent shot, but the keeper manages to get to that. I'm going to bring on Gray. He wanted some game time. So we'll bring him on for the next 40 minutes. There or thereabouts. And watch, he's going to... Oh, apparently he wasn't offside, which is rather nice. Dawson. Dini was offside there. Just trying to get find some, some way through here. And I don't know if it's me. Let me know in the comments, guys. But on here on FIFA 21, right? When you do, like, when you go for tackles, if even if it's, like, half deep... Oh, fuck, I hate... I just wanted to do a step over. Um, with tackles and stuff, I feel as though you're more likely to get a card now. There's, like... I know they changed the advantage system, and I don't know whether that's got something to do with it. But... If it does, I'm not a fan. Gray, can he grab one? Oh, that is that is frustrating. That is frustrating. That would have been a nice time to get a goal back there. Half an hour still to play. We're going to whack it in the center. And Deeney's just put it wide with a header. Oh, this is, this is excruciating to watch us play like this away from home against Luton Town, for heaven's sake. Luton goddamn town, boys. What what are you playing at? You guys were playing in the Premier League last season, and now we're losing to Luton Town. What do you mean? What on earth is going on? I've got faith in the boys, though. I've got faith. I think we can, I think we can pull it back. I'm gonna make a quick substitution. Firmina is dead, so we're gonna bring on Jan Matt. He wanted to play, and then I think. We're going to play Ismailari Safadini. Bring Dini off um, and give Sa the rest of the game. And I think that should help us out just a wee bit. So those effects is a bit in change when we get... When the ball goes out of play next. Dini, can someone please make a run? Thank you, Messina. You're not the fastest. Okay, that's fine. Play out the... Edge of the box. Dini's going around. Dini! Oh. Firmino. Get it to Gray. Found Dini again. Block shot. I feel oh, that's such a big issue, man. Like, 
<clears throat> a lot of these defenders seem to stick the foot out quite often now um, for defensive challenges. Right, we need to get the ball out of play so that I can bring on these guys and save some of my lad's legs. Um, I would really appreciate it if the AI made a really big mistake. I'm just gonna just gonna play it out of play. I need the subs on. Here we go. So we've got Dini coming off, Ismailari Sar going on, and then we've got Juan Matt as well coming on as well to replace Firmina, uh, our right back. <clears throat> it's Luton Town coming forward yet again, and he's offside. That's lovely. That is lovely. Let me know as well what you think about the face cam position. So, I've got it in the middle of the pitch so you guys can see who's on the ball. Uh, Is Malari Sars broke away here? He's managed to turn inside. Please, Sar! He, how can you block that? Oh, that's unbelievable. That is That was by far probably our best chance of the game. And the game's like, no. No. Oh my, oh my word. I don't know what to say to this defending this year. It feels weird feels way more just every shot's just blocked it don't matter whether you got like 99 finishing dude like if you if you don't have 79 square inch worth of space in the penalty box then you just you just your shots just not even gonna go anywhere near it's either gonna get blocked or oh whatever else and they've just mugged me off there and i need to defend that nice one we need a counter attack now to at least grab a draw i don't want to drop three points against luton would really appreciate it if i didn't lose three points okay so we've got two minutes of added time we've got a goal kick here let's let's take it slow but let's go let's take it slow but let's go i see messina up the wing he's got space he's got space but not all the space etienne capu and that's basically the game guys gg we and and then look at look at the ai this year man you, you they know they're at the end of the game they just drag the ball away from you um but first game's disappointing another loss against luton town away from home that's not the best man we've dropped five points now in the past three games so that's not good for our cha our championship winning uh, sort of thing so from here on out we need to we need to step up the game but i'll see you guys in the next one against reading at vicarage road right then ladies and gentlemen we are here for the second and final game of episode three here on the road to glory we're here at the vicarage road hopefully the home fans will help spur us on to get some three some nice three points here against reading uh it should be doable but i mean coming against Luton like that and losing very by a very small margin I'm not happy about we've made a couple changes um I put let's have a look actually we put gray up front because murray's slow as fuck he's got like 29 pace which is insane we put cello bat on for etienne capu because capu's basically dead and i put jean matt on as well because our right back's dead as well and that's really the only changes we made coming into this match hopefully they can help make a difference and obviously maybe as they play this match they will gain sharpness morale will increase and their playing ability again increase so yeah reading are coming forward here in the early stages of the match uh which isn't too isn't too bad nice little block there but you know whenever they come for any ai team tends to come forward my guys don't know how to block so you know there is that um we found gray here um we managed to get past one reading defender and gray's gonna go all the way He's going to finesse it. Let's go. Gray. Grab the ball, son. First goal for Watford in three odd games. And that's what we like to see. The guy starting the first match. Uh, starting his first match as a starting 11 this season. And he's showing us why, you know, he's got the pace to win a race. Uh, I mean, he he absolutely obliterated straight through that Reading defence. And obviously here at Vicarage Road, it's lovely to see that he has that impact. I think in the 
in between episodes, I'm going to double check, like, and um, probably put the um, crowd back on. Um, but I'm, the, the commentators are too loud. Even on one setting, like, for you guys, it's just way too loud. You, you probably can't hear me over them. So that's why I've turned them off. But we'll put, I think we'll put crowd and, like, chance back on. I feel as though, you know, it'll give that little bit of extra ambiance. Um, I reckon. So, cleverly, we found Chalobah. Great. He's sidestepped another man. He's going to... Very decent second shot of the game. Dini's kept the ball in. Cleverly. Oh, that little bit of dribbling there to uh, get that little bit of space needed to take the shot off was quite clever, you could say. Uh, but thank you for keeping that in. Jan Mats found Gray. And and that's great again. Can he get there? Not quite. Not quite. Got went for the two-footed shot. I guess was would he would he have been going for the shot there, or would he have just been going to to try and get the ball? Oh, oh, I've oh, he's, oh let's go, guys. Twenty-six minutes in, and I am absolutely tearing ready in the park i mean gray is tearing ready in the park look at him bloody nora look at this right overhead bicycle kick to dini gray is here he's got two man marked on him defender and the keeper keeper's way too close to him gray knows he's got that right top bins and there is no way the keeper's getting there from his stance so two nil in 27 minutes gone it's quite nice uh, the home fans will definitely be spurring on the team. And that's what we like to see. You need to be grabbing three points here. Every single game, we need to be dominating possession. We need to be dominating shots. As you can see there, top of your screen, 55% possessions to ourselves, 45 to Reading. We need to be dominating players, making good tackles, good interceptions, just like that. And we need to be working towards getting an end result at the end of every single attack try to find dini there with a little fancy roulette back heel pass but couldn't quite get it off nice a very nice interception we got possession back yet again cleverly found gray and i see dini but i assume gray doesn't have the best passing stats is he offside no apparently he was played on okay fair enough well we will mark him with dawson and uh, that's a corner for reading at the back end of the first half can they make anything from it not quite uh keeper gets there and gray's got the pace so i'm gonna just gonna start running just gonna start running and uh, i'm gonna let chalabar go because he's got space Found Dini. Oh, and he's done the defender. Oh, Dini. Oh. Just slightly wide, but he'd done almost everything well there in the box. It's unfortunate that he couldn't get anything off. But 2 0 up at half time? I can't really complain. He's probably the best performance so far. Um, yeah, especially. Uh, definitely. Best performance so far. Dini got the physicality to shrug one of them off, but couldn't get back to the ball in time, which is unfortunate. Gray here. Found Dini. Back to Hughes. Back to Dini. He's got the space. Ah, too slow to take that shot. Uh, that's his age, but that's half time, and it's 2-0 to, to Watford at home at Vicarage Road on the home turf getting stuff done around the grounds Derby's in front Millwall's not in front Brentford is and Middles Brett and Stoke are drawing so it's not looking too bad we'll have to see where we situate in the stands at the start of the next episode uh, but we'll keep you informed on that but if we do manage to get three points here we might just be able to claw back a um, championship winning not not as like a title winning team not not playoffs not automatic promotion championship winning we want the trophy we want the trophy that's what we want he didn't even get the ball there but okay ref new fifa 21 mechanics gabriel jesus goes to barca 
Corn. Defo Corn. Dawson. Sticking a foot in there. Just helping us out just a bit. And then Dawson's managed to help us grab possession. Deeney. I'm going to get Gray there. And... Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. I was trying to time the pass so that Deeney could get free and there was no defenders marking him. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Reading coming forward here. He was going to play it to an offside man. He is not offside, apparently. Fair enough. Messina. The team is feeling nice. It feels strong, but I feel as though I am just rusty at FIFA. Um, rather than whip of like, rather than the team's bad, like I'm just rusty because um, I haven't played with Watford for a while. Oh, that was a beautiful setup, absolutely beautiful. Chaloba manages to grab himself one nice little play there from Dini. I think he grabbed himself an assist there. Might have actually been Gray. Uh, no, yeah, it was Gray. So Gray manages do, does a little cheeky roulette, little back heel. Chalobah's wide open in the center of the box and just absolutely puts his fucking th foot through it, boys. So Nathaniel Chaloba scoring the third, 60 minutes in. There's not, he's not looking like there's any way back here for for reading now which is very nice and this is obviously going to help our goal difference if we continue to press on uh maybe score a couple more goals if we can press on grab a couple more goals then losing the five points will i won't feel as bad because if we then still have a positive goal difference afterwards after this just three points that that's going to be a big one uh, trying to find space with Dini. Oh, Hughes has absolutely done him out here. But like I say, with the blocks, would you look at that? That's a, a quite a big block there for Redding to stop a fourth. Dini's on the ball. And again, with the blocks. It's a big thing in this game. I wonder if they'll, they'll maybe address it. But oh, that's how they're meant for the game to feel. Who knows? Who knows? But we're just gonna we're just gonna play the game. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun. That's what you know. That's what us gamers do. We like to play games, have fun, zone out, do stuff and things. Dawson is getting well into challenges in this match. He is not. He's not having no for an answer. Dini manages to find Gray. I might be able to drop this defender just quite get i get the shot on target at least but i didn't manage to get you know it was unfortunately straight out the keeper so it wasn't anything special like and they're gonna try they went for a lofty three ball pass and uh, Foster's absolutely fine with dealing that with dealing with that sorry oh and also in between this game and the last game uh, so in between the Luton match and the Reading match, guys, uh, the Bournemouth put in a transfer offer for Troy Deeney uh, at his valuation of five and a half million. Now we've got forty million in the transfer budget, and we've made maybe four million in profit already this season. Uh, I don't really want to sell Deeney because obviously he's a club legend. So I think at this point I'm going to keep him at the club, but. I just wanted to inform you of that and I think even for five and a half million it's not worth me selling because he'll be a decent rotation player for the next couple of years anyway uh, in case we pick up an injury you know he's still got the class he, you know he's still got the finishing and the shooting um, so yeah he's going to be a class player for rotation if we get any injuries down the line but that is the full game it's 3-0 for us here at Vicarage Road against Reading. A very nice result, picking it, help us picking up three lovely points that we need to kind of get back on track. But yeah, if you've enjoyed today's episode, drop a like down below. If you are new around here and you want to see more, please do subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. You'll get an upload every single day, I promise you. If not, two. Some days you get, you get treated, guys. Um, but yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye.